Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. We had to <clears throat> we had to redo some stuff here. gonna do this real quick uh, we're having to go old school we're having to go from the phone camera instead let's move this right here okay we're having to take care of uh, a few different things just give me a give me a, a chance to catch up here yes wow thank you Jesus thank you Jesus Father God just thank um, you Lord yes thank you God Mm. Mm. Is right. Yes, indeed. Mm -mm. Yes, just having to take care of a few things right here. We're not going to be able to go YouTube this morning, but I'll upload it later on onto YouTube. Uh, just say, making sure is everybody here is. Is um. Yes, Father God, in Jesus' name. Yes, Father God. God. Jesus, Father God. Yes, in Jesus' name, Father God. Okay. Yes, All right. <clears throat> Go ahead if you can share mm -hmm. share that share that uh, that link. Okay. Uh, get I'm gonna to get to copy the link here, and uh, I'm gonna go. Uh, just give us just a second. We're trying to catch up. We had a little bit of of issues. Um, a few a few issues this morning. I'm sorry. What am I sharing? The uh, anybody that you need to that's oh, okay. you know the, 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 the link. The, the okay. yes indeed. Okay. Yes. yes. All right. Yes, Father God, in Jesus' name. Yes, Father God, in Jesus' name. Yes. All right. So I, I mean. <laughs> Part two. Woo! Here we go. We go. We're there going we back go. on. <laughs> We're not going to be able to see a lot Amen. of your comments. We are back old school, but hey, yes. we're on, we're back. Nothing going to stop us this morning, no, amen? No. Nothing is going to cross these airwaves. Amen. Nothing is going to come in cr against us. Amen. We are here, so thank you guys for being and just holding on. Thank you, Jesus. I tell you what. Yes, Man. indeed. Yes, Woo! indeed. All right. God Praise is good. God. Yes. Guys, I want to start off again. We're going to go ahead and open with a word of prayer. I'm encouraging everybody. I, I had prayer requests already. We, that got, I got. we got some prayer requests, but I want to I want to go back into prayer. But I want to first go ahead and share this. I'm, I know that we had some technical difficulties, and we're having to restream. I, I know the enemy came in and tries to stop what's going on, but I'm telling you right now, he's not going to do it because we have victory Come in on. Jesus. Praise Come God. on. So, guys, I would encourage you to share, share, share. Click share right now. Hit share. Get it out there in Jesus' name. We're going to start again in a word of prayer. Yes, God. Yes, thank Father. you, Father God, Lord. We just thank you, Father God, Lord, that those that are joining in with us, Lord, for part two, Father God. Yes. Oh, Lord, we just thank you, Father, that we have the victory, that, Lord, that we are overcomers, and that, Lord, that this technique, that nothing, Nothing. That Satan tries to, to, to bring down, steal from us. Father God, we're taking it back. Taking it back. We're taking it taking back it this back. morning, Father God. Lord, bless those that are watching online, Father. Lord, I just ask you, Father God, Lord, that as they are watching, Father, today, Lord, that you fill them up. Fill that them you just, up. Lord, yes. that they feel your presence. They feel that you're right there, Father God. I just thank you, Jesus. And I yes. praise your mighty name. Holy Spirit, we just thank you for being with us this morning. Yes. We say, have your way. Have your way. Speak to me and speak through me, Father in God. Jesus in name. the name of Jesus. Yes, amen, and amen, amen and amen. And amen and amen. Praise God. Praise God, guys. Thank you for joining in. Sorry about the technical difficulties. Uh, we are adding LaDon. Um, mm -hmm. and, uh, I think so, she's just tagging her. Yeah, she's tagging, tagging those. So, 
Good morning, guys. I encourage you go ahead and hit share. Get it out there. I know that we had some technical difficulties because what we're talking about today is humility in Jesus. Yes. Also getting filled up. Once something's been removed, that we get filled up. Come on with now. The right stuff. Amen. You know, I know Jesus spoke about this. He says, you know, when a demon is cast out, he goes into a waterless place, a, a, an arid place, mm -hmm. and he's searching around and he's looking. He is looking for something, you know, but he goes, I'm going to go back to where I came from, and he finds the house empty. Mm -hmm. He finds the house in order, and he gets seven stronger demons to come back to make things worse. Mm -hmm. Guys, it's just so important. It's so, so important that what we do every single day is get filled up. Filled up. Filled up. And I'm not talking about to right here. I'm talking about to right here. Come on now. Because when you're getting filled up and it's flowing out of you, nothing can come in. Guys, everybody knows this. I mean, we're out here in the country. If you fill up a bucket of water and you only, and you leave a couple mm -hmm. inches at the come top, on. you're going to come back tomorrow and it's going to have some scum on it. It's going to have some, definitely this time of year, we're going to have some mosquito mosquito larvae flying around, inside, uh, swimming around inside of there. But if you leave the water on all the time mm -hmm. and it's dripping out, even the drip over the, it's a mm -hmm. constant flowing water. It, scum cannot come in. Bugs, it takes care of everything. So guys, we need to be constantly getting filled up in Jesus, overflowing in Jesus every single day. Praise Amen. God. Praise Amen. God. Amen. Thank you, Praise Jesus. Praise God. Well, guys, did you, have, did you have some things that you I did. First I just want to briefly to... wanted to touch on something. Um, Y'all, last night was powerful uh, at our Bible study. He was. It was powerful. A lot of things took place. A lot of deliverance took place. A lot of people, um, the chains were broken, as Ben said. The walls came down. I mean, to tell you, it was amazing. Good morning, Sister Anna. It was amazing last night at Bible study. Literally, the Holy Spirit had his had way. Had his way. Amen. Had his way. Had his way. Amen. It was such a great, great time. All we did, and then after everything happened, we just sat there in his presence, and we just soaked in his presence. Yes. We just kept just giving him thanks and praise, and it was just so amazing what God did last night at Bible study. Amen. And I tell you what, the thing that was on me this morning. Oh, the thank you, Jesus. And we prayed over oh Karen. We prayed. God, we anointed Karen. God. Karen is on with us this morning. We anointed her with oil. We prayed over her shoulder, and she is able to lift her. She couldn't lift her arms and praise even last night. Yes. So praise God. I'm glad to hear that. Praise God. Jennifer, yeah. I got Victoria Vic down. Victoria, we got her down as well. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, that's okay. No, and so I just wanted, just in that, my spirit this morning, I just wanted to encourage everybody. We have to stay strong. The Lord is our strength, yes. okay? The Lord is our strength, and we have to stay strong. We have to make sure that we are filling back up. What are we filling back up on? We're filling up and staying filled up in the Word of in God. The Word of God. We have to always have praises on our lips. We've got to give God thanks. We have to remain in His Spirit at all times. All times. Pray in the Spirit. Give thanks to God because, listen, when we when we get rid of, yes. and there was a lot of getting rid of last night. There was a lot. I mean, I'm telling you, I, I, I don't remember which video and the one that broke down earlier or this one, but I want to let you know, chains were broken. Yes, Strongholds God. were crumbled down. Yes, they were. The things of this world, prison bars were just disintegrated Woo! last night in Jesus' name. Praise God. Yes, and so the thing is we have to, it, I mean, literally, when we get rid of... We have to replace. What do we replace? God's love, God's peace, God's strength, joy. God's joy, God's kindness, God's truth. God's truth. We have to fill up on these things. We have to. And so that's what was on my spirit this morning to encourage you, to let you know that God, that God is our strength, that yeah. God, through God, we can do all things. Mm -hmm. And I just want to read one scripture this morning because I know that. Things got haywire, but look, we don't care what happened a minute ago. No. It took 14 minutes to get back. We don't care because we are victorious. 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 We kept praying over the airwaves. Listen, 
<laughs> the enemy tries to come and bring you down. Guess yes. what? We get back up. That's we exactly come back right. on. We come back stronger. We come back better. Amen. Yeah. That's what our God does to us. Oh, That's who we are. It's amazing. You know what the the, uh, the the description of the video? The first one was to make sure that we stand in the victory of God. And all we need to do is stand firm because he's already won the battle. And I mean, that's this so apropos with what happened this morning. I want everybody to know, praise God. We're going to keep on preaching the word of God. Praise God. We're going to keep on proclaiming his Amen. truth. Praise God. We're going to keep on spreading the seeds of his love and his grace out there in Jesus' yes. name. Praise God. There we go. Praise God. All right. So this morning, I'm just going to read one scripture because I know Ben has something on his heart. I'm going to read Philippians 4, 12, and 13. Yes. And I want you to listen to what I'm saying. This is so awesome. All right. Here we go. I know what it means to lack. How many of us know what it means to lack? I do. Okay. I know what it means to lack. And I know what it means to experience overwhelming abundance. For I am trained in the secret of overcoming all things. Yes. Whether in fullness or in hunger. Mm. And I find the strength of Christ's explosive power infuses me to conquer every difficulty. Every difficulty. Not some. Mm. Every difficulty. So I want you to stand on his word today. Isn't that good? Yes, it is. That is so good today. For I'm trained in the secret of overcoming all things. We are more mm. than overcomers. We are victorious. Yes. We are victorious. Amen. In Amen. all things through Christ. And I just want to encourage you all, stand on his word today. Stand on stand it. Stand on it. Yes. No matter what is thrown at you. Who cares what was thrown at us this morning? That's Part right. Part two is going to be bigger and better. Amen. 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 Come on now. Come on. Come on. Come Woo! on. Amen. I tell you what. The enemy tries to come in and take over the airways. He, kind of, we he comes say to steal. No. He comes to steal, steal kill, kill, and, and destroy. destroy. And I'm Woo! telling you what, that's what he tried to do this morning, and he's not going to do it. We Thank rebuke you, you right now. In Jesus' name, Satan, you must flee. We go into your camp. We release the fiery arrow, arrows of ourselves that are covered in the blood of Jesus. We shoot them into your Come camp on. and we destroy you with the atomic weapon that is Jesus' blood. Praise God. Yes, Praise God. Good God. morning. Yeah. Good, Good morning, morning, all. Good Thank morning. you, all. Good morning. I know that this is kind of a different. We had to go old school on us and get the phone out and go live, but that's okay. That's okay. We're still bringing the word. We're still coming this morning strong. Praise God. Y'all can still share this message. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I tell you what, we're having some we're having some weather problems too, so I think it's affecting the uh, the transmission. But guys, we're gonna keep on going. We're gonna keep on keeping on. So amen. Be, just in, in be encouraged that no matter what our season is, and we're gonna talk about here. We're gonna go to unless you have something. No, else. baby, I know. We're gonna go to Luke sixteen. Okay. Luke sixteen, guys. I just encourage you right now. Go ahead and hit share. Share this, get this out there because somebody needs to hear this. Come on, this today. Go ahead and share it right now. Click share, get it out there. We're going to Luke 16. We're okay. going to verse 19, okay. 19 through 31. This is a this is some scriptures that God gave me a few days ago, and it, it got put on the back burner the day before yesterday, and yesterday. For a purpose. Okay. For a purpose, because it needed to be heard today. Praise God. Yes, yeah, we we switched positions, uh, Brian, because we we our, our camera went down. Uh, we had some issues, and we had to go old school with mm -hmm. the phone. We we switched positions, and also our 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 shirts are red backwards because of the of the <laughs> camera. <laughs> But you know what? God God makes all things straight. God takes the crooked path and makes it straight. Come and on. here we go this morning. Praise Come on. God. Praise so God. Luke, so Luke, Luke 16. 16 Luke 16. I'm going to go ahead and let everybody okay. see it. It's backwards, but it's Luke 16, 19 through 31. Luke okay. 16, 19 through 31. Okay. Okay. Jesus continued. There once was a very rich man who had the finest things imaginable. Living every day 
enjoying his life of opulent luxury. Outside the gate of his mansion was a poor beggar named Lazarus. He lay there every day covered with boils, and all the neighborhood dogs would come and lick his open sores. The only food he had to eat was the garbage that the rich man threw away. One day, poor Lazarus died, and the angel of God, angels of God came and escorted his spirit into paradise. The day came that the rich man also died. In hell, he looked up from his torment and saw Abraham in the distance. And Lazarus the beggar was standing beside him in the glory. So the rich man shouted, Father Abraham, Father Abraham, have mercy on me. Send Lazarus to dip his finger in water and come to cool my tongue, for I am in agony in these flames of fire. My God. But Abraham responded, My friend, don't you remember? While you were alive, you had all you desired, surrounded in luxury, while Lazarus had nothing. nothing. Now Lazarus is in the comforts of paradise, and you oh, are okay. in agony. Besides... Between us is a huge, huge, huge chasm that cannot be bridged, Keep, keeping anyone from crossing from one realm to the other, even if he wanted to. So the rich man said, then, then let me ask you, Father Abraham, to please send Lazarus to my relatives. Tell him to witness to my five brothers and warn them not to end up where I am in this place of torment. My God. Abraham replied, They've already had enough warning. They've had the teachings of Moses and the prophets, and they must obey them. My God. But what if they're not listening, the rich man added. If someone from the dead were to go and warn them, they would surely repent. Abraham said to him, if they won't listen to Moses mm -hmm. and the prophets, neither would they believe even if someone was, was raised, raised from the, the dead. dead. This, wow. this is so powerful, and the reason that it falls in line with everything that we've talked about in the last few days, I want you to understand this. We're going to go through this. You have to realize, wow. you know, the, the, the thing about it is Lazarus was sitting there, covered in boils, boils that a dog would come by and lick mm -hmm. the boils, right? Mm -hmm. And did he? does the Word of God say he complained? Did the Word of God say, where is mine? Guys, we need to, as Christians, stop saying, where is mine? Mm. Guys, we are looking, we have treasures here. You know the old saying, stepping over dollars to pick up pennies? Yes. I'm telling you right now, we need to stop doing that spiritually. We need to stop stepping over dollars to pick up pennies. Well, when am I? When is this going to happen? When is that going to happen? When you've got things that you haven't dealt with that God's given you right now in front of you. Come on. Okay. We need to make sure that we're getting filled up where we are at. You're looking at your watch on Sunday morning. When's the, when is this service going to be over? I got to get going. Mm -hmm. You're like, ah, I'm too busy too, too busy to go and, and fellowship with my brothers and sisters in Christ mm -hmm. when, the, when the church doors are open. I'm too busy to do that today. I'll get to it tomorrow. Tomorrow you say, man, I need some God today. Come on. You, you passed up the opportunity. Yes. Here's the other thing. What did Lazarus eat? Lazarus ate the garbage, garbage. the garbage of the rich man. Guys, we are the rich man. Hear me out here. Hear me out here. Come on. Hear me out, okay? I never, never and I'm, I'm telling you, what are we spreading out for others to eat in our lives? Wow. Are we spreading out the garbage of the world? Or are we spreading out the seeds of the gospel? Wow. Come on. Are we giving wow. someone something good to eat? Or are we not? Come on, wow. man. Come on. Somebody somebody Woo! needs to somebody tell me if this is speaking to My you. My God. Today. Yes. We're amen. always we're always worried and we're always worried about what people are saying about us, the things that we're doing. Well, you know, I mean I'm a new person. It doesn't matter if they remember the old person. Show them who the new, new person, person is. is. Show right. them. I'm, and here's the key word. Show them. 
Don't talk to them about it. Show them. Amen. Show them if, with Amen. your life. If you're, you know, and I was, I was feeling convicted about this this morning. You know, a lot of my life, a lot of my life, I was not the kind of godly father that the word of God says to be. Mm -hmm. the, the godly father that I need to be Come on. for my children. Yes. Okay. But all I can do now is show them. That's it. Show them. Yes. You know, I can't take the Bible and knock on my son's door and hit him over the head with the Bible because that's going to do no good. No. He's got to see the fruit Come on. of my life. Yes. And I've got to not put garbage out there. Yep. I've got to put the good seeds of the gospel out yes, there. Yes, God. Okay? So when we... when we Actions. Come, actions speak louder yeah, than words. words. Guys, we've got to do these things. We need to, we need to see the riches that we have. Lazarus is sitting there at the door of this palace of this rich man. The word of God doesn't say he sat there and complained. He's like... Oh God, why am I, why do I have these boils? Mm -hmm. Why can't I have what the rich man had? He wasn't focused on the on the the castle. He wasn't focused on the the opulent lifestyle. He was focused on God. Come on. Come on now. He was focused on the riches of heaven and what happened when he yes. died. The yes. angels of God came down and yes, picked him up God. and took him to paradise. Yes. Guys, we need to stop focusing on the things around us and start focusing on God. Yes, God. I mean, come on now. Is somebody hearing me this morning? That's what this... we're going to spend eternity. Yes. Where we spend eternity. What is eternity? Forever and ever and ever and ever. It never, ever ends. Yes. Our eternity, we've got to start making sure that we are focused on the treasures of God. Yes. Period. That's right. And, you know, the thing is, Ben, is you're right. I mean, what are we feeding? What are we putting out there? You know, but the thing that caught my attention the most is that he says, he says in here, in this parable, he says, uh, <clears throat> um, you know, he lived a lot. Okay, so. It said, one day the poor Lazarus, uh, okay, Lazarus dies and went to heaven, and then the rich man also died. In hell he looked up from his torment, because hell is torment. Is torment. Hell is torment. And remember, this is, this is Shoel, this is, this is the land of the dead, this is Hades, okay. this is not the pit of fire that will end up happening, but this tells you, even in this moment, it is not comfortable. It is torment. Okay. Torment. He's, um, he says, in torment, and he he, uh, he was standing beside him. So the rich man shouted, Father Abraham, have mercy on me. He's already made his choice. That's right. He's already made his choice. He's already there where he's supposed to. He's in eternity right now. <coughs> and he's, he's, I'm in agony in the flames of fire. Please, don't you remember? He, he's asking, please, will you go out and tell my brothers? Listen, we have the choice right now. We have the opportunity at this moment to go and tell others right now about Jesus. Yes. Right now about God. That's it. Don't wait till it's too late. Because Jesus even, you know, he's telling him. No, if they won't listen now, they're not going to, they, they had a choice with Moses. They had a choice with all these prophets. We've got to keep spreading the word keep. of God. Amen. The word of God. We've got to. If you do it one time, oh, they didn't listen. Don't give up. Keep on and on and on and on. Your actions, the what you're doing, what you're saying, they will see the unbelievers and the people who have fallen off, they will see Jesus in you. Amen. Amen. But it's our choice. It's us up to us right now. The choices that we make, what are we doing with it? Like, like this, are we feeding them garbage or are we feeding them the truth and the word of God? We've got to make sure we're doing that. And are we living that life? Amen. Amen. Don't let it be too late. Don't let it be too late. Do not let it be don't too late. Really, don't, don't go, you know, and I'm not, I'm not trying to make you feel a certain way. No. I just want you to think about something. Don't go to your friend or your relative's funeral 
and say, man, I wish I had a talk to them about yes. Jesus. Don't go to the funeral and say, God, I'm sorry that I didn't tell them about Jesus. Amen. Guys, we need to spread the word of God every single day. If you have, do you have something on that thought? Because I have something else that the Holy mm -hmm. Spirit is talking to me go about. Ahead. Guys, I want you to understand that the rich man, the rich man, it doesn't say that he didn't go to church on Sunday. It doesn't say that he didn't tithe to to the to the church. It doesn't say that he didn't praise God when he was at church. It didn't say that he didn't lift his hands and worship God. It didn't say these things, right? It did not say those things about the rich man. Come on. But I'm telling you, as, as he was, he recognized who Abraham was. Okay? Hear me out here. He recognized who he, Abraham was. So he was very aware of the word of God. Amen. He was very aware of the happenings of God mm -hmm. in his life. He mm -hmm. knew who Father Abraham was. He knew the difference between where he was and Lazarus was. He knew that thing. Right. So I'm telling you what, this man has been in church. Mm -hmm. Come on now. Come on. This man is rich, and I'm sure, I'm sure that he he made sure everybody knew when he threw his money into the into the storehouse. Okay, I'm sure those things were happening, but that still did not save him. The relationship, the relationship is where it's at. That's it. Those other things come with spiritual maturity. I don't don't get me wrong. Okay, yes, God. but those are not the things that get you into heaven. Come it's on. the relationship Come on. with Jesus. Yes, God. The, the Lazarus on the ground with the oozing sores all over him that Ooh, dogs would lick God. up. He's the one that had the relationship. Yes. Now, some of you are wondering when is when is my trial? When are the tribulations? When are the things going to end? They never ended for Lazarus, but the riches were there for him. Now, I'm not saying that you're going to live like this way forever, and, I, and I'm declaiming because there is no, according to the Word of God, there is no poverty on the Christian. That's we need to right. stop professing that. We need there, to stop there, there is no illness on the Christian. I'm, we need to stop professing that. We need to stop talking like we are defeated already and start talking about victory. Victory. La Lazarus did not talk about the defeat. He talked to God. Come on. He gave it to God. So, guys, we need to make sure that we're doing that in our own lives. Yes, we Praise do. Praise God. Praise yes, God. Yes, we do. Yes, and that's the thing. We have to walk in victory. Yes. We have to know, like we stated, you know, <clears throat> no matter what comes against us, we know that God in us, I just read Philippians 4, 12 and 13, we've got to make sure that we know that God is our all. He's our strength. <coughs> we lean on Him. Yes. You know, Things right now that we're going through is all a spiritual battle. And we have to know how to stand up and fight this battle spiritually. Spiritual warfare. Yes. And that is what we are going towards. That's what we are fighting. We put on that armor of God and we fight against this. Yes. I'm telling you right now, we don't want to be ending up. Like Lazarus knew. He's, he was crying out. He was saying, please go tell my family. Please, he's begging him. Please, yes. go tell them. Why didn't you? You had the chance. Yes. Today I encourage you to go and go share today. and spread those seeds. Go today. Examine yourself. Go today and say, God, I don't want to be that rich man. Amen. I want to be like Lazarus. I want to be there not complaining because Lazarus knew that his treasure was in heaven. Yes. We need to make sure we're, you know, humility. We have, we're humble. Humility, yes. We're, we're, we're humble before the Lord yes. that we just can constantly understand who we are in Him and what He did for us. Amen. And it all starts with a personal, intimate, yes. love relationship with Jesus. Amen. Talk with Him, <clears throat> walk with Him. Be with him. Yes. Spend time with him. Bless the Lord. Let, yes, less of me and more of him. That's We've right. got to make sure yes, that indeed. that's what we're doing. <laughs> I tell you what. I tell you what, guys. It's so important, okay? It's so important. And I know that there's somebody here online. I mean, we, we did this last night with the people that came into Bible study. But, guys, 
I just encourage you. I want you to. I want you to pray. I want you to go before God. Yes. I want you to do this today. I want you to ask Him to reveal things to you of things that are in our lives that we need to be that need to be remu- removed. Yes. I, I want you to go before Him and say, "What in me?" As 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 we see, Anna Ramirez said, "Less of me and more of you." Yes. And, I want each and every one of us to go before God today and say, God, what needs to be broken off of me? Yes. God, what what you are the master potter. Yes. I show me what I need to have removed yes. from my life. Yes. Guys, I'm telling you to do this because it's so important. Yes. As we walk into these end days, the yes. things that are happening right now, Jesus is coming. Yes, he is. Jesus is coming. Yes. Whether whether it is as Lazarus and the rich man, where we come to our last day and the angels come, or Jesus shows up and he blows the trumpet and mm. we all get raptured up. Come on. Guys, it is going to happen one way or the other. So we need to break off what is not of him. That's it. We need to break off what was on the rich man. Come on. Well, I'm not rich. I'm telling you, he's not talking about finances. He's talking about pride. He's talking about selfishness. He's talking about a spirit of religion. He's talking about a spirit of poverty. He's talking about all the things that can be over you. Guys, we need to go to him today and ask for him yes. to deliver us from those things. Yes. And then Pray a prayer of renunciation. Yes. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, please message us. Send us a message. We will get with you. We'll pray with you over the phone or we'll find a way to get together and we will pray a prayer of renunciation with you. Yes. It's, that's not essential. You can do it yourself. But guys, if you need to know what to do, please contact us. Yes. Please get a hold of us. Yes. We want these things. We want these strongholds broken. Yes. We want these chains to come off. We yes. want to be free because in, in whoever is free in Jesus is free indeed. Yes. Guys, we've got to do these things today. And yes. I claim these things over every one of you. Yes. Pray yes. for every one of you. I tell you right now, yes, praise God. <clears throat> one of his oldest, dearest friends have found Jesus. Yes, thank, thank you. Jesus. There is no bond like being bound to Jesus. Praise God. Yes. Praise yes. God. Wow, what so, an awesome, awesome day. Thank yes. you for the prayer request. Thank you for those that came in mm. and uh, joined Please. in. After after the, 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 the camera stopped working and all that, thank you for those that came on for part two. We know that it's a different setting today, but we don't care. We're here to serve God, do continue to do what continue God, tells, to us do to what do, God yes. tells us to do. I pray that this touches you this yes. morning. I pray that if it touched you, that you share it. You get it out there. You get the word of God. God out there we you know we're on YouTube for those of you uh well who have friends who don't have Facebook we're on YouTube listen we've got to start the day off right Amen. we've got to start off waking up praising God this morning and we've got to make sure that God is our love our first love first love first love first that love. we go to yes. him in the morning and give him thanks and seek his face seek his face are yes. we ready for prayer yes I want to I want to add a, a prayer request West. Uh, guys, we our our, our brother Daniel, uh, Pastor Daniel Mungay in Kenya right now. Uh, guys, I want to also thank everybody that's participated in in funding, helping yes. fund their ministry, and also Regina Nadun. Guys, I, I I really truly appreciate those of you that are that are sending in sowing seeds into our ministry. And I encourage you, if you feel led to do that, get in contact with us. We'll tell you what you need to do because we sent we sent funds yesterday Woo! to two, men, two ministries in Kenya. Yes, yesterday. God. Today, I want to keep Daniel Mungay in prayer yes. as they are building uh, building further pens pens for for their chicken business. And you're like, well, chicken business. What does that have to do, guys? You have to understand they don't want to ask for money. They want to be able to produce money to fuel their ministry there. So we are helping them get the groundwork done on their chicken business where they're going to have 100 chickens that can lay eggs and they can sell the eggs. With the money that they raise from that, they can put the roof on the orphanage. See, there's there's progress here. They can put the roof on the or- orphanage. Guys, they can build the church on the property that they have. They can open the storefront 
that they can sell foods so their ministry can grow and they will be self-sufficient. Guys, that's what we want to do. So we want to pray for Daniel Mungay. We also, Regina Nadun, you know, last year or earlier this year, we uh, we built a uh, the water well for her ministry. I tell you, she sends us pictures. Everything is green there. The reason it's green is because she has water. She has the she's growing crops for her orphanage and for her church. The church we've 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 posted some of those pictures. The church is being built, but they need to put the roof on her orphanage and in the in the uh, school for her children. And so we send her funds also to have a cistern, a tank that can hold the water from the water well. That so when the electricity goes off, she has water. So guys, we want to lift them up in prayer. If you feel led to to sow into that ministry, get in touch with us, guys. We also want to pray for Gigi, unspoken prayer request, Lisa Hendershot. Uh, in in that is uh, she's going to court. Mm-hmm. She's going to court. We're praying for that a, a fruitful uh, outcome to that. Ladon Bradshaw, uh, Victoria. Uh, the Jennifer's asking us to pray for Victoria for Ollie, and she has an unspoken prayer request. Lori has an unspoken prayer request. Dennis, the Daniel ministry and the Regina ministry, we're lifting them up today in Jesus' yes, name. God. So, Father God, we're going to go before him right now. Yes. Guys, I want everybody to join us in prayer right now in Jesus' name. Yes. Father God, we come before you. You are Elohim. Mm-hmm. You are the God Almighty. Father God, you created everything with a word. With a word, everything came into, into existence. So, Father God, we stand on in faith that as we lift up these petitions to you, it says in Matthew 18, 19, when we come together and pray, when to agree on anything and pray in the name of Jesus that it will happen. Mm-hmm. So, Father God, we stand in faith over every single one of these prayers. Father God, I just ask that the Holy Spirit go in and fill each one of us up. Change us, mold us, move us, yes, even break us, so we can become the vessels that we need to be for you. Father God, that you can give us our calling, the direction that we need to go for you in all things. And Father God, I lift up each one of these as Yahweh Rapha, Lord God of healing, healing over minds, healing over bodies, healing over spirits today. Father God, I just I cast down any activity that's in their life from the from the demonic realm. I cast it down right now. I speak over it and I say right now in Jesus' name with the finished work of the cross and the blood of Jesus, I pour that out over every single person here that they are delivered from anything that is afflicting them, and they get filled up with you in Jesus' name. Yes, God, Lord, I just stand in agreement over each and every prayer request right now, Father God. Lord, those that have tuned in, Father Lord, I ask you, God, to bless them, to reveal to them, Father God, what they need to do, Lord. And Lord, that in all things, Lord, Lord, that they, they, they touch and ask for your strength today, God, because that's what you give us, is your strength, your love, your kindness, your joy, Father God. And Lord, I just say, Fill us up. Fill us up. Fill us up. Yes. In the name of Jesus, Jesus Father God. Name. I speak healing. I speak deliverance. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Amen and amen Woo. and amen. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Prayer for my health, Saint. Okay. Nose in Nepal. Sister, we got you down. We're praying for you. Yes, yes, we're praying for you in Jesus' name. Yes. Thank you all uh, for joining in this morning. If this touched you, please yes. share it. But right now, we call you blessed, blessed and highly favored in, in Jesus, Jesus' name. Come on, Thank let's you, let's Jesus. end with some praise and worship yes, this morning. Praise God. God! Come on, come on. Love y'all. Come on. Let's praise him in the sanctuary. Let's bless the Lord this morning. Yes, Guys, we love, you. love you. we love you. We love you. We love you. We send our love. We send our blessings in Jesus' name over you. And we'll see, see you, you tomorrow, tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. Facebook or YouTube. Let's stand. We're going to figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> praise God, guys. Love you.